Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about conjunction connective in discrete mathematics and graph theory course. It is one of the logical connective used in propositional logic. Now, how this conjunction connective can be used? I am explaining with one example. Let us consider P and Q are two propositions. The conjunction of these two propositions can be denoted as P and Q. So here we have to use and connective for combining these two propositions. Symbolically it can be represented as P and Q where this symbol representing the word and When we are combining these two propositions by using and connective, then we are getting the compound proposition. A compound proposition can be obtained by combining two propositions P and Q by inserting the word and in between the two propositions. Then it can be called as conjunction of the given propositions. Symbolically, it can be represented as P and Q where this symbol representing the word and. Now, we are taking through one example. So, 3 is a prime number. This is the proposition P. Next, Amravati is the capital of Andhra Pradesh. This is proposition Q. How these two propositions are combined? By using the word and in between the two propositions. So, here we are combining the two propositions. by using the and connective in between the two propositions. So here we have to use and connective for combining the two propositions. So, it can be represented as P and Q. Symbolically, it can be represented as P and Q. This is the symbolic representation of given two propositions by using the word and. Next, what is the Truth table of conjunction connective. The truth table of conjunction connective can contain three columns. The first column contains the possible truth values of proposition P. Second column contains the possible truth values of proposition Q. And the third column represents the truth value of conjunction of P and Q. Here, how many number of propositions we are using? Two propositions we are using. How many number of rows present in the truth table of conjunction connective that can be calculated by using this formula 2 power n where n is the number of propositions. There are two propositions are there. So, 2 power 2 that is equal to 4 rows are present in the uh, truth table. 
this is the first row this is the second row this is the third row this is the fourth row okay what are the possible truth values so the truth value of proposition p is true the truth value of proposition q is also true next the truth value of proposition p is true the truth value of proposition q is false the truth value of proposition p is false the truth value of proposition q is true the truth value of proposition p is false the truth value of proposition q is false these are the possible truth values of p and q propositions then what is the truth value of p and q the truth value of p and q is true only when p value is true and q value is true in remaining three cases it is false okay how this truth table can be uh, remember okay so the conjunction of two propositions p and q can be represented as p and q p and q is true only when proposition p is true and proposition q is true then p and q is true the remaining all cases it is false okay now how to evaluate the truth value of p and q for this example okay now i am taking 3 is a prime number so what is the truth value of this proposition we already know that uh, 3 is a prime number so that it contains the truth value true next amravati is the capital of andhra pradesh we know that it is true therefore this proposition contains the value true then what is the truth value of p and q okay so here the first proposition value is true the second proposition value is also true so true and true is nothing but true so p and q truth value is true in remaining all cases it is false this is the simple description of conjunction connective whatever i am teaching so that can be represented in the sentences from for notes purpose i hope all of you understanding this uh, video if you really understanding this video please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates if you have any doubts please put your doubts in the comment section i will try to clarify your doubts if you really understanding this video please subscribe my youtube channel so divela srinivas rao after subscribing my youtube channel share this video to your friends and classmates thank you thank you one and all for watching this video